So for everyone that's getting tired of the magic and flesh and blood content, we have MetaZoo. Finally arrived, our spell book. Uh, I only know what I've seen online about MetaZoo, which is not a heck of a lot. So let's pop this bad boy open and see what kind of stuff we get inside. So yes, I fell victim to the hype train and um, uh, I just uh, bought it. I ordered the spell book from uh, um, one of the companies, I can't remember who I found it online. Uh, it's been a long time coming, I ordered it quite a while ago, but it is finally here. Let's open it up. It's got the nice foil seal on it, uh, which of course I don't have a knife with me to cut open, so we'll just peel it if I can get in there. There we go. Um, so now the whole idea with this, well, the whole idea, part of the idea of this is the great nostalgia for um, Pokemon, right? It's supposed to be a whole thing that, oh, there we are. Okay, so we get some, some nice stuff right out the gate. We get a... What is this? The Cryptid Nation. That's a spell from your chapter. Contra contract a page from the MetaZoo Cryptid Nation set without paying its aura cost. Okay. Um, I should preface this by saying I have no idea how to pay, play MetaZoo. I've never, I don't think I've even ever, ever watched a video about it. Um, so that, there's, there's something to be said for that. <laughs> um, so this will all be new to me. Um, but yes, so there's supposed to be a huge nostalgia factor with Pokemon, uh, with some of the artwork, very retro artwork, watercolory looking and stuff like that. Uh, I never played Pokemon originally, so uh, I do not have that same um, affinity for it. Having said that, uh, I do appreciate and can appreciate the nostalgia factor for some people. So let's, now that we crack the box open, let's see what we get inside our spell book. So we do get a nice map which I guess, uh, again, mimicking or inspired by the whole Pokemon idea of where these creatures are from. These crypt Well, I guess these are cryptids, right? So they come from North America in particular. Uh, the Great Plains, the Rocky Mountains, the Great White North. Yeah, okay, we got everything in here. MetaZoo USA. Uh, there's some Alaska and Hawaii. Notice how Canada's been left off completely. I guess we're supposed to be the Great White North, but it's just MetaZoo USA. Uh, nice little poster on the back. Oh, sorry, this is your this is your uh, playmat, right? You've got your stuff there, your afterlife, your cemetery, limbo, side deck, spell book. Oh, okay. So that's more than I knew about the game already, just from that little bit. Uh, let's see what's inside here, because it looks like there's some pre-packaged, pre-con stuff, some packs to open, a whole bunch of counters. Oh, some I've already popped out. This is gonna be absolutely not fun to store all this stuff. So we've got a whole bunch of counters here. I'm just gonna pop them out anyways, why not? Whoops, and we lost one already. So we've got a whole whack of counters here. Um, tokens, counters, I don't know what they call them in this game, but basically things that go on it. I'm assuming that's Z for sleep, not N for something else, who knows what. So there's a whole bunch of little token countery things. Put those off to the side. Um, like I said, we got our, I guess this is like a um, promo card with it. Well, that's really strong plastic uh, packaging on it. Like um, high, high uh, thickness count, millimeter? What do they go by? They have a name for it, but whatever it is. Very uh, durable plastic. Let's tear that guy open. Let's see what the cards are like. Hmm. Kind of, uh, kind of flimsier than I thought they'd be, actually. To be honest. I mean, they're okay, but they're uh, they're a little bit plasticky too, though, which isn't bad either. Hmm. Okay, well, to start, uh, where do they put their rarity levels and stuff like that? Just so I know when looking at them. Um, Looks like nowhere that I can see. So, <laughs> uh, they've got first edition written on it. Everything is so small. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Okay, put that off the side. Maybe it's a promo, so I don't see it on there. Here we have a little instruction book, a rule book. That is a pretty densely packed rule book. Uh, I do not plan on reading that. That was what YouTube was invented for. We got a pack of sleeves. That's nice, actually. Nice little Ziploc bag of MetaZoo sleeves. 
That's something different. Okay, let's see what's in this giant stack. Uh, I don't even know what to expect in here. Are these just aura cards? I mean, it's nice that there's a foil one on the top. I think these are just, yeah, these are just aura cards. So I'm assuming these are like your energy. What would be energy, I guess, in Pokemon? Uh, yeah, dark aura, spirit aura, light aura. Okay, so there's there's a foil in it. There's a water foil aura. I'm not sure if that's standard in all of them, that every, uh, every spell book comes with a water aura or not uh, as their foil. It is pretty, though. I do like these kind of different foils. That's always really nice. I, I'm a huge fan of that. Wish uh, some of the other TCGs would take a hint from that and do some of these nice hollow foil things. I guess that's what they're called, right? Hollow foils. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs, I guess. Um, well, let's crack these packs open. I, I guess this isn't quite what I thought. I thought this was more like a booster box, but I guess not. I guess it isn't. It's uh, literally a spell book, so I guess you crack these packs. They have nice little tear strips. Let's see if they tear. Nope, they don't tear any better than any other of these packs that, that tear strips. Let's see what's inside here. There's a nice uh, QR code on the back. I don't know what that pulls up for you. Uh, but, yeah, these cards feel a little weird. Sorry, you'll have to mind the, uh, being the father of a, of a daughter. <laughs> That's what you get sometimes, is nail polish hands. <laughs> um, Cactus Cat, Wapaloozy, somewhere here it's got to say the rarity of them. Maybe not, maybe they're not done that way. I know there's something different about them with their art and stuff like that, that, uh, uh, like different art you can play some of that wapaloozy reflection broom okay invisibility fire trap power up blue hodag oh that's a nice little foil one there oh yeah see and they have limitations here one per spell book so they tell you how many you can put in a spell book per card uh then there's stars right because um the idea with MetaZoo, from what I can understand and what I remember, uh, is that some of the uh, actions or some of the effects happen depending on your location. Obviously, if you can't be in a location, I think you're allowed to play or have cards like these that make that uh, area, make your area that area sort of thing. Uh, Lightning Aura. So I don't even know how to sort these, though. Hmm, there we go. That one ripped better. Yeah, I don't even know how you would sort these if I don't see rarity levels or maybe just alphabetical, maybe just by card number. Fireball, Lava Bear. That Lava Bear looks drunk. That does not look like it's on fire at all. Um, poison Arrow, Reflection again. Kentucky Hellhound, Invisibility again. I think I got that before. Uh, Miracle Touch, there's a nice little hollow foil of uh, Menehune. Sure. Daytime. Light Aura. I'm assuming you get a hollow foil in each pack, which is nice. Uh, Lava Bear again. Reflection again. Exploding Mine. Alien Astronaut. Menahune, the non foil version. Retribution. Thorned Whip, Kentucky Hellhound, the foil version, Nighttime, and Cosmic Aura. Wapaloozy, Shadow People, Chaos Potion, Old Green Eyes. Yeah, so this was the example they gave of, you know, like this fun, cutesy, you know, retro Pokemon style art, and then a man with a severed head covered... Oh, man. Old green eyes uh, carrying a severed head covered in blood, running around naked. Like, that is not... Um, yeah, it's not so uh, kid-friendly, really, right? Uh, I can see that being an issue. Menahune, Gluttony, Grounding, a Foiled Phoenix Rain. That does look very pretty, actually. And again, uh, much like Flesh and Blood... They've uh, highlighted what gets foiled and what doesn't, which is really nice. I like when they can uh, accentuate certain parts only. That makes a lot of sense and is really, really nice. 
snowing, water aura. That's that's weird that we have day, night, and snowing. Like some one of those is in action, the rest are just, you know, states or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Let's open up the full pack. There we go. Alien Astronaut, Shadow People. There's a lot of repeats in these, what, four packs I've opened so far? Sam's EMF device. Lightning Bolt. Every game has a Lightning Bolt. Um, I should probably put a Lightning Bolt in the card game I'm working on too because I'm kind of feeling left out right now. Mine's the only card game without a Lightning Bolt. Having said that, it is not a TCG. Uh, it's a, you know, single pa uh, box type game, like a living card game without infringing on the copyright of that name. Um... It does a little bit more than two or three damage, actually. 25 damage. <laughs> Black Cat. Miracle Touch. Kentucky Hellhound. Babe the Blue Ox, who was actually on the cover of it. So that's uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, the City. Looks like it's kind of falling over that city. Got to straighten it out, maybe. Maybe it's got to be like that. Uh, and a Cosmic Aura. Yeah, these cards are... Um, the backs actually feel slicker than the fronts. The fronts feel very matte. I don't know if it's a coating on it or, or what. I'm not saying I don't like them, they're just interesting. Uh, old green eyes again. Anna Magic Feel, Anti Magic Feel, sorry. Actually, I like the artwork on that one, that's kind of cute. I like that one. Uh, Bat Squatch. Wapaloozy, Gluttony, Power Up Blue, Balancing Beam. That's like an aging thing. That's weird. Blood Ruby. Yeah, again, something not really, you know, appropriate for all ages, but whatever. I guess they're doing their thing. A Forest. That's some cute forest art. That's some nice background art. Uh, and a Frost Aura. We got three, no, four packs left. Four packs left. Ten cards in the pack seems kind of paltry, actually. That's a little bit of a low number. Uh, I don't know what their value is per pack, but I would think you'd get more than ten. Uh, water gun. Pew pew, it's a handgun shooting, like a finger gun shooting water. That's kind of cool. Uh, tail slash. Rump to fusel. Tripodero. Crossroads. Miracle touch again. Earthquake. Foil Fresno Nightcrawlers. Look like leggings. A lake? That's a pretty lake. That's very Pokemon-esque, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like looks like it to me. Uh, and a light aura. I know that this stuff was very um, hyped because everyone was trying to find the next thing that between MetaZoo and Flesh and Blood were very overhyped. Um, that is not, I mean, that's partially the reason why I bought it. Also, just to try something different. Uh, hopefully, when we get back to Paper Play, someone will uh, be interested in trying MetaZoo. We'll see what it's like. I'm sure it's not actually going to be that much more fun than Pokemon or Magic is, uh, only because it's kind of more of the same, I'm guessing, really. Like, there's only so many ways you can you can do this sort of thing. Uh, Gumbaru. Water Gun again, Space Penguins, River Dinos, that's a cute dino, Proton Beam, Salem's Witches, Chibi, uh, is that a Q? Yeah, Quetza, I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm 99% sure, Holy Gem, Holy Gem, uh, actually kind of looks better without the foiling on it, because you can't really see the detail of the gem. Winter and Dark Aura. Second last pack. Gumbaroo again, Exploding Mine, Killer Clown. Yep, again, nothing, you know, nothing for the kitties there. Cactus Cat. That's kind of funny. Cactus Cat. It's not really. Well, whatever. I think it's funny. Light Beam. Uh, Enfield Monster. Crossroads again. Uh, Quet 
Quetzal coatless. I think I'm saying that wrong again too, but we'll say Quetzal coatless for now. Island. Okay, that looks very quickly, cheaply, amateurly done. I mean, I get the look they were going for, but like that is a very, very quick sketch in Procreate or some other, you know, even iPad app sort of thing. That is not, no, no effort or time was really taken for that by the looks of it. Uh, unless it is a real painting, but I do not think so. Uh, mind you, having said that, this flame aura really isn't that uh, impressive either. Um, almost like they kind of went as quick and cheap as they could on some things, but I guess that's to be expected. Oh, there was a coin in there? How did I miss that? I guess for coin flips, right? So we got a coin. One side is... Oh, it's the guy standing there, like on like on the promo card. The flip side just says MetaZoo, first edition, Cryptid Nation. Awesome. How did I miss that when I took that box apart? Okay, we got Antidote, that's new. Reflection is not. Poison Arrow is not. Lake Worth Monster. Okay, that's new. Earthquake! Lightning in a bottle. Awaken target beastie. And this beastie gains whatever that is until the end of turn. Proton Beam again. Chibi Mothman. Mothman, I guess. Doesn't really look that chibi-ish, but... Cute Nibble is its attack. Okay. A city that's falling over once more. And a Dark Aura. Alright, so that is our MetaZoo Spellbook. Spellbook? Right, Spellbook opening. Interesting. Let me know what you think of it. Have you played MetaZoo? Uh, did you get a box of MetaZoo? Uh, am I a complete fool for getting a box of MetaZoo? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on it. And um, if you've played it, if it's any fun, how it, how it plays, is it, you know, is it a fun game at all? Is it worthwhile to even bother learning and trying to convince someone else to play it with me? Or should I just leave well enough alone? I guess I should open these before too. Yeah, these sleeves are... Uh, really leaving something to be desired. Those do not look like they're going to withstand much at all, actually. Yeah, those are pretty pretty lackluster sleeves there, MetaZoo people. Uh, might have wanted to skip the sleeve thing and uh, throw a couple more pennies into the uh, card quality instead and let us sleeve up our own stuff our own way. Anyways, thank you for watching. Check out the other videos. There is more MetaZoo stuff coming if you're a MetaZoo fan. I've got... Uh, I think it's the pre-con boxes, I think is what it is. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'll open them and find out. Um, I also have some flesh and blood on my channel. I have some Magic the Gathering. I have some Genesis Battle of Champions uh, and some original stuff. So please check all that stuff out. Like, subscribe, follow, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.